Morning Thailand supported by Sea Thai Superwear. Wings Learning Circle, customize English course for your business. And welcome back to the program. You're watching Morning Thailand with Tulip Golf and of course Kun Chain. So Sorry. Sorry. Now Kun Chain, of course the Prime Minister is not mm -hmm. right here and dealing with the mobs and such. Uh -huh. um, she's, in <laughs> she's on a uh, an European trip right. to Switzerland, Italy, the Vatican and Montenegro mm -hmm. until next Sunday. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course she's attended a very important mm -hmm. United Nations conference, I believe. It's a uh, United Nations Human Rights Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it is not a conference, it's more like a visiting. Oh, okay. Uh, but before we go there, I, I would like to congratulate uh, Kun Nimit Pipit Kun, the mm -hmm. director and script writer of mm -hmm. Zhongok, who received uh, the Best Artistic Creation Award in mm -hmm. Indonesia. Okay. Uh, in the first news we already mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, to give you brief background of him. He's a uh, very famous actor and acting coach in Thailand. Uh -huh. uh, one of his famous work is The Revolutionist of 1932, which he uh, directs, writes a script and play as Pridi Panom Yong. Uh -huh. uh, the play uh, was played across the country mm -hmm. and invited to play in uh, France, Netherlands, Sweden and four city in the U.S. Uh, wow. namely San Francisco, New York, Chicago and Los Angeles. Wow, mm -hmm. so very good. Yes. Uh, Let's back, go back to the to Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, in the speech she gave at the UNSRC in Genoa, mm -hmm. uh, she referred to the Universal of Declaration of Human Rights, that mm -hmm. issue, uh, for 65 years ago. Mm -hmm. that, uh, she said, Human rights are born free mm -hmm. with equal rights and dignity, and no government can deny that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she comments that uh, it is very challenging for the government to defend human rights and respond to the people's demand at the same time. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, many violent incidents happening around the world, such mm -hmm. as uh, what is happening in Syria right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but she believes that uh, at the end, the oppressed mm -hmm. and the people will unite to fight for themselves. And now uh, people can gather more easily. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the social network, that is uh, what, what she mentioned. Right. And she emphasizes the government needs to be empowered mm -hmm. more in order to be able to protect human rights. Mm -hmm. I, I quite the government quite need to be empowered more? Yeah, I, I quite don't understand that part. Uh, but she said <laughs> Thailand has okay. also gone through challenges to defend our democracy right. over the decades. The journey has been smooth and even today she still has to defend democracy from undemocratic minds. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. And she said, <laughs> we cannot and should not accept any un undemocratic changes okay. and we must continue to support democratic values by protecting okay. people's rights and uh, liberties. Oh. Uh, as well, the Prime Minister comments on this. Uh, what she said quite echo what she already talked at mm -hmm. uh, a democracy forum in mm -hmm. Mongolia in April. Really? She uh -huh. repeated that, huh? Yes. Uh, back then, she strongly urged sanction and international pressure mm -hmm. if Thai democracy were ever collapsed by undemocratic minds. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's quite interesting speech. Yeah. Interesting uh -huh. choice of yeah. topic. As uh -huh. a leader of the country. And um, agenda. It's just interesting all around that she mm -hmm. would actually talk when in terms of that. Uh -huh. Was there the undemocratic minds. minds and empower the government? The government. Mm -hmm. Anyway, was there a Q and A session? I wondered yeah. if there Is anybody have question after uh, a speech. Not really, but Ajahn Som Sak Siem Hira Skun, a uh, an academic at Thammasat University, who uh -huh. is very active and uh, frequently comments on the issues of democracy, mm -hmm. human rights and in various ways and sometimes he gets into trouble. Right. Uh, one of the incidents is when the uprising people group or Prasha Chon Thon Mai Wai went to the <laughs> TPBS to demand that uh, one of the show called Top Chod uh, be removed oh, due to the wow. fact that they uh, show issues of less majesty in the country. Okay. Uh, along with uh, Ajahn Som Sak inside the show. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in pa this particular case, uh, mm -hmm. what he, he comments on his Facebook that mm -hmm. uh, the PM is the first Thai who gives speech at the UNHRC, but he was not impressed by her speech. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that uh, in his opinion, she did not mention 
the fact that there are three late majesty cases mm -hmm. uh, being discussed widely in the country, mm. mostly about uh, freedom of speech, which mm -hmm. I did not, I, I, I won't go into detail. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I'm impressed that he actually talked about that, that he would like her to talk uh -huh. about that. But in the international stage, in international media, they always criticize Less Majesty Law of, of somehow mm -hmm. limited the human right. So uh, it's uh, quite controversy. Mm. He, wants. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. he would like to point that uh, what the Prime Minister said is quite contradict the practice of government as well. Uh -huh. uh, the thing is that he said many, actually many organizations under the UN mm -hmm. have asked the Thai government to fix the law, and uh, but no government would even uh, take a look at it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, even when the Truth and Reconciliation Commission proposed to the government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Prime Minister talked about the UPR or Universal Periodic Review, mm -hmm. which is a new mechanism uh, established in 2008 as a panel to talk about and to, to scrutinize the human rights issue right. uh, around the world. But in 2011, uh, this particular organization uh, has criticized Thailand extremely. Mm -hmm. Dramatically, uh, in 2007, under Khun Ying Lak administration, mm -hmm. uh, every single member country of uh, the UPR, uh, namely France, the UK, Germany, Spain, and uh, Sweden, mm -hmm. demanded Thailand go over uh, the Less Majesty Law and look into the freedom of speech of mm -hmm. the country. So, in another word, Khun Som Sak, right? Khun Som, Khun Som Sak. Sak is not too happy because Prime Minister speech avoid the controversial issues. Mm. Yes, and the fact that she was talking about human rights mm. and uh, freedom of speech, why the government has not done why lift off the very mm. well on that. Right. I'm just more interesting in terms of, you know, why did she actually decided to repeat that particular speech that she gave in Mongolia? Because um, mm. last time when she gave it, there's a lot of controversy already. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. to talk about a lot undemocratic of minds, that just raises a lot of question marks, like, Okay. This speech will go very, very drama. Yeah, I'm interested. I can Who wrote that? this for her? We can. Uh -huh. <laughs> we will not we, get to we, the bottom we of this. We can highly blame the person that writes the speech for her, for sure. Mm -hmm. Of course, finally, at the end of the day, she's the one that said it. But she is the leader of the country. Usually, I assume there is a team mm -hmm. that actually writes this kind of. Yeah, whatever that's why she said. has to say in public, especially mm -hmm. in the international mm -hmm. stage. That's why I said, like, who who wrote this for her? Because um, we know for sure that she's not gonna, you know, write it herself. Yeah, but w what we really uh, don't understand or mm -hmm. uh, not sure is that if she really mean what she say. Empower the government. Empower the government. Mm. Uh, at the same time, uh, protecting human rights. Okay. When she maybe she it was is a tough job, you know, maybe. just mm -hmm. to give her a mm -hmm. fairness. Mm -hmm. like, it is a tough job to to actually be in that position, but I think that there's so many other issues that she could could have touched on mm -hmm. right. in terms of human rights right here in Thailand because we did talk about, you know, women sex trade, empowerment, yeah, women, se women human and tra trafficking. Exactly, you know, I thought she was gonna perhaps <laughs> look into that. Mm -hmm. such. Into some uh, issues that we have been doing better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Empowerment <laughs> of government. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all the time we have. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to thank everybody that's tuning in and stay watching us until the end of the show every day. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we would like to thank our sponsor. Jasper for our lovely top. And of course, Rayo IV Rigetta for a nice top for Kun Chain. And C Thai Superwear Quality, the Wearo Trust, as well as Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. And you can watch every episode playback on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash morning Thailand. Also, you can like us on Facebook. Oh, if you already like us, you can unlike and like us again <laughs> on facebook.com right. slash morning thailand. And we also have Twitter, mm -hmm. we have Instagram, mm -hmm. and we also have email that you can email us any comments mm -hmm. or welcome at, morning. at morningthailandshow at gmail.com. And mm -hmm. that's all the time we have for you. And until we see you guys tomorrow at 6 a.m. on MCOT World, I am Tulip Naksumpo. I'm Wanasa and Kerhong. Chen Junasutana Kun. Swadi ha.